Ahead of the release of Selena Gomez's documentary, My Mind and Me, the singer and actress is opening up about her thoughts on how it will be perceived by audiences and more. In an interview with Rolling Stone, Gomez said she's so nervous about the release of her documentary, which takes an unfiltered look into her battle with anxiety and depression as well as lupus, an autoimmune disease. She also said she was going back and forth about releasing it. Because I have the platform I have, it's kind of like I am sacrificing myself a little bit for a greater purpose, she said. I don't want that to sound dramatic, but I almost wasn't going to put this out. God's honest truth, a few weeks ago, I wasn't sure I could do it. Jordan Strauss, in Vision, AP Selena Gomez attends the Selena Gomez, My Mind and Me world premiere during opening night of the 2022 AFI Fest at TCL Chinese Theater, November 2, 2022, in Hollywood, Calif. Gomez first revealed that she was diagnosed with bipolar disorder in 2020 during an episode of Miley Cyrus' Instagram live show, Bright Minded. Prior to learning about that diagnosis, she was also diagnosed with lupus in 2015, which is triggered by stress. In 2017, she received a kidney transplant after the disease affected the organ. In her interview with Rolling Stone, she revealed that she has also been to four treatment centers because of her mental health struggles. I think when I started hitting my early 20s is when it started to get really dark, when I started to feel like I was not in control of what I was feeling, whether that was really great or really bad, she said. It would start with depression, then it would go into isolation, then it just was me not being able to move from my bed. I didn't want anyone to talk to me, she continued. My friends would bring me food because they love me, but none of us knew what it was. Sometimes it was weeks I'd be in bed, to where even walking downstairs would get me out of breath. Gomez added that while she never attempted suicide, she spent a few years contemplating it saying, I thought the world would be better if I wasn't there. Since her diagnosis with bipolar disorder, the rare singer said she was prescribed different medications, which helped a bit, but said that they had an effect on her. A psychiatrist helped wean her off the medications, except for two, which she currently takes today. I had to detox, essentially, from the medications I was on, she said. It took a lot of hard work for me to, uh, accept that I was bipolar, but, b, learn how to deal with it because it wasn't going to go away. Because of the two prescriptions she takes for her bipolar disorder, she added that she may not be able to carry her own children. That's a very big, big present thing in my life, she said. However I am meant to have them, I will. While Gomez still has some reservations about releasing my mind and me and has only seen it a few times, she decided that it was in fact important to share it when she realized the film's impact. I wanted someone to say, Selena, this is too intense. But everyone was like, I am really moved, but are you ready to do this? And are you comfortable, she said. I was like, okay, if I can just DDO that for one person, imagine what it could do. Eventually, I just kind of went for it.